Welcome back. Good to have you with us on WKYT News. Does your pet have a healthy smile? February is National Pet Dental Health Month. And here are some great dental tips. Dr. Butch Schroyer with Animal Care Clinic. Thanks so much for coming in. Oh, glad to. And we do like the smile better than the snarl. That's, that's right. right. But, you <laughs> know, we do that, sometimes yeah. you get that one too, right? Yeah, yeah I do. So, so here's the question. Are, are pets just like humans in that oral health is really important to their overall health? Yes, very related. And the problem is with our pets, many times things are going on and we don't know that because you're not lifting the lip and looking at the teeth on a regular basis. You should, but most people don't. And so the same thing that happens with me and you, if we have dental disease, periodontal disease, disease around our gums and roots of the teeth, th that bacteria that harbors in there can damage the valves of the heart, can damage the liver, and damage the kidneys. And of course, when you get those types of major problems going on, it shortens their life. Yeah. What are some uh, techniques, you know, pet owners can employ when they're not necessarily getting their teeth their dog's teeth clean, but on a continual preventative basis. Yeah, we're always looking for things that are kind of passive on your part. You know, the gold standard is brush your teeth, and everybody's next question is, well, how often do I need to do that? Well, my answer is always, as often as I can get you to do so. Uh, every day would be great. Once a week is probably pretty good. Uh, the part that you brush when you brush the teeth is a soft tart, the, the little plaque, the soft mucousy biofilm. It forms very quickly, and, and you can brush that off. Once you get calculus or mineralized, you can't brush that. Then it comes, I have to do that for yeah. you. But the things you can do on a, on a passive basis, chew toys, flossing ropes can be uh, used inside of it. Uh, the raw hide chews can be used if you use them appropriate. I don't think you want the dogs eating big chunks of it, but it can be a part of it. Uh, how do you know when you might have a problem? If you're doing the, you know, your the Lift the lip and look, right? Yeah. You lift the lip and look. Uh -huh. And what you're looking for is redness along the gum lines. Discolored teeth. A tooth is supposed to be the same color our teeth is. It should be that nice kind of uh, uh, pale white. Mm -hmm. If it looks pink, there's a pulpitis. That means that nerve root's been damaged. That tooth actually hurts. It needs a root canal or be extracted. Even though you look at, sometimes you can tap that tooth. You can just ding, 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 mm -hmm. and when and you see the dog go, oh, that hurts. <laughs> and you see that happen. You know, oh, got a problem. Get in and yeah. see it. So you're looking for irritated gums, discolored teeth, bad breath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, tells you most this uh, hold for cats. As well. I mean, they're, exactly, they're not right down the same line. Though, no, right? they're not. And, and, but they will play with <laughs> those little so. catnip toys. Yeah, that's <laughs> well, true. Not going to happen. But they'll play with those little catnip toys yeah. and they'll grab them and mouth on those, and that gives them passive brushing action. All right, very good. Good to see yeah. you as always, Dr. Bush.